Hi all, another tutorial here. This time I'm gonna show you how to make a grayscale image like that for image carve or for milling with Linux CNC that can uh, generate here and carving or engraving for uh, with a grayscale image. How do we do that? We use always free software. This time here it's Blender. I will try to get all inside the frame. You know, it should probably walk for this tutorial. Okay, so open up Blender. This version here is 2.74. It's 2016, late 2016. So First, I should give you a sign what I'm pressing here. First, with N, I can open up here. I got the screenshot, start display. Now you can see what I do. Left click, right click. Okay, the, the cube is marked. So with X, I delete the cube. And I now just import my 3D file. Let's append it here from... There we go. The object. This one here. So where's my object? I hit 7 on the number pad, 5. And if I scale down, there's my object. With shift, middle mouse button, I move it inside the full frame and <coughs> mark it right click smooth it out so it uh, gives me a nice little girl here what we need is to get a grayscale image so on camera the resolution you should calculate it on your own depends on what precision you want to have I know I will have 80 by 50 millimeters, so I go here for 1200. I will use only 50% because it renders, uh, takes a lot of time to render. And go down here, you see PNG 8 bit. 8 bit is the required for image carve or, or maybe Linux CNC, also takes only that part. So what we're gonna do is we give those angel here. Uh, now I need to get this a little bit more inside. Yeah, oh, that's too much. Okay, here I need to give it a material. I take the white here, diffuse white, and shadeless. This should be the best one. You can get them the world should say it's dark in the world there we go and now we hit the camera right click select here's our camera I will go for zero rotation zero X zero Y and in set C I get minus 90 inside now the camera has here, here it's the third last, I will go for auto graphic and I know the scale is 85 because I did it once before and center it on the part. So with one on numpad I move up to the part and important to the camera is show mist. This is the height of the part. We will get to the C code, uh, to the G code. So in combine, I should pass the mist and on world scene, no, oh it's on the world, here, down there is the mist. I enable it. Yeah, it comes up. 
And here is the start, that's the upper point. Let's say 40, a little more down, 42. Uh, let's move a little in. I think we can go by 44. Yeah, should work here. The, the fingers is the highest point, and the depth maybe nine millimeter. It does not now show here uh, the real good thing. You you can move it sideways. There you can see where the zero is. Yeah. So let's go here for 43. And I would say 10. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. So seven shows the, the other way. There we are, and just hit F12 to render out the image. Now you see you have a grayscale image. Save that image, and you will be done. But as you can see, it's a lot of white here. Maybe we did not hit the highest point. So I hit escape and turn the colors, the world to white, the color of the part on the, the material to black. Then you can see the highest point if you render it out now. It does not show anything. is that should do that uh, I hit the spectacle layer I need to hit diffuse here a black part and go for it the wrong button now you see the it's not black here so you have to go down a little more okay escape go to the mist here and let's say here 44 as we expected and hit 12 and there you see it get, it's getting darker but not dark enough i don't see a real black face so go down a little more four five hit 12 oh there we go there's our black so it's in within between there's much black now so 44.5 let's go with that mm, that seems really good a really good grayscale so let's do it the other way we invert the image by making the world black and the part white there we go, hit F12 and you get a real good grayscale image. Save the image here, save as image and you are done. And I will say goodbye for this tutorial and if you need help just come up with IRC Internet Relay Chat. You can use Chatzilla on Mozilla Firefox and join Freenode server and the channel is Linux CNC. We will help you if you get running some troubles.